starboard bow. Getting underway. Took off from uh, San Clemente. Hopefully you can hear me. A little windy here. Got the window open. Got my co-pilot Santiago behind me. We're all headed down to Yuma, Arizona. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. Had to escape from uh, somewhere in California. No names to mention. I just feel like I'm living in a socialist state. So I'm headed down south somewhere. New environment. Something new. Uh, something new to see. Yuma, Arizona is where uh, the destination is. It takes about five hours. Cape 5 South down to the 805 South to the 8 East, all the way to Yuma. Check it out, see what's going on down there in Yuma. I'll uh, update you guys on the way down, just passing Lego Land. So, uh, oh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I had a car in front of me, I don't want to run into it. So, let's, uh, let's get going here. Let's see what we can find, what we can do. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit. Headline, that's okay. Here we are, guys, getting up to Martinez Lake a little late. This is the road. They're working on the road. So for the last 10 miles, 15 miles, we had this. And we are almost there. Martinez Lake is a military installation. And they have a really nice RV park there. Did not know about all this road construction, so it took us a little longer than we had expected. And it's nighttime, so it's always a little hectic when you don't have lights to tell you where you're going. So I'm just cruising up this hill here, almost there. It's about five minutes ahead. I'll update you guys when we get to the lake. the lake beautiful spot I mean right at the end here you can see the horn in the background barely have room to get up there we had a back in here straight down here coming down here to the end which is we got our own little private beach Whoa. sunscreen there beautiful little spot Hornet's flag is waving proudly here in America. You got to find it. That's one thing about America. It's big enough. You come out and find this stuff. And this is the only way to go. Down here, right at the tip of the land here. On the lake. Got the fishing poles out. Going to try and catch me some lunch or some dinner. It took me about five hours to get here from San Diego. It's a beautiful day. It is getting to be a little windy. You got the mountains in the background there. But other than that, it's gorgeous right now. Sorry about my thumb print there. Gonna get, get these uh, poles in the water and then I'll update you guys. in the water a couple of bites but nothing spectacular got some hot dogs on the end of it the guy was telling me that the hot dogs are in right now i don't know what that means but they're on there and i think i'm gonna take me a dip what's out there marmalade anything good huh anything good out there no Nothing good. The guy out there with the tube on the end. Enjoying the lake, 50 degrees. 
Beautiful, beautiful spot. You can't beat it. Right here in the end of the road, it's like a tiny road. I was barely able to back into here. The road is pretty narrow. So, I guess they said a 20 foot's the only thing that could fit back here. I fit all right, barely, but I had to use the extension cord to get my 30 amp connected. I don't know why, but that's a 50 amp box. So, 50 amp box, and there's no way a, 50, a class A can get back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these poles in, put them on the side, and I'm gonna walk out there and get me a dip in the lake. Just to wake up. Oh, look at those clouds above, wow. Pretty cool looking. I don't see any rain, it's just blocking the sun. It's gonna make it a little bit more exciting in the water there. Got a little chilly out, went in the water. It was probably the coldest out here that it's been since I've been out here. It was cold, but it uh, felt good, woke me up. I think I'm up for the next three days with that water. It was very, very cold. It's probably the coldest that I've been in the water, any water that I've been in, I should say. The ocean, I think 57, 56. I think this water's probably got to be 40 something degrees. But uh, it's a beautiful day. A little overcast right now. The clouds are moving in. But uh, gorgeous time. Gorgeous day. Still hanging out down here. Got uh, got the pole in the water. Fishing pole. Looking for some dinner. They say there's a bunch of good fish out here. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I can uh, run into some. There's going to be a fire later tonight. Here in Martinez Lake. And uh gonna enjoy that. Chris New Year's Eve. What can you say? Where else can you be? Other than Times Square down in New York City, we know that's not happening. So uh you might as well take it and enjoy the peace and the tranquility out here. Got a spot all by myself right at the end. I'll show you later the trail getting down here. 
and then uh, I'll update you on what's happening. Last night it was pretty dark and <laughs> just barely enough room to get back there. Supposedly a 50 amp connection back there, but I don't know why, because the Class A is going to fit back there. I guess it could fit back there, but it's pretty narrow. You wouldn't have any room to open up or do anything. Like I said, the lake, it's pretty nice out. It's around the, in the 60s. It's not too uh, hot, which is really cool. The water's, as I mentioned, is very cold. I got the old pole. I'm going to go up to the, by the, the dock up there and check out the fishing up there. You can see around me, they got some cabins here also. And I'll show you what it looks like to get a I got beautiful my spot. ass lake around me. People were commenting to me on my last video what I was doing for New Year's Eve. Well, I just got tired of listening to all the politicians talk about how everything is effed up and yet they don't do anything about it. The only thing they concentrate on is their voters, especially the the left liberals. They have all their voters that they love to give free stuff away, free benefits, social benefits, but yet they don't do anything for them family-wise, people-wise. You get a dollar in your pocket doesn't mean anything unless you turn that dollar into something else. So I got tired of listening to the news about it, listening to all the politicians talk about, oh, this is going to work and that's going to work. What are we going to do about this? Mask up and all this other good stuff. And I mean, I'm totally for the mask thing. You should be wearing a mask. But we're all adults and we're all free citizens. We get to choose whether we want to step into the fire or not. We didn't hire these politicians so that they can border us around. We put them in there to support the Constitution for our sake. And if they're not doing that, we need to have a better way to get rid of them other than going through hell and high water to try and do it, recall and all that other stuff. That's why we need to stick with uh, term limits. And I think they ought to reduce them to every two years instead of every four years because Four years is way too much time that they get to sit around and do nothing. And you guys know who I'm talking about. We have politicians sitting in office that are in there for a long ass time and haven't done anything. So back to the lake here. I'm going to walk over to one of these docks over here and uh, throw them in pole in the water. I know these guys right here, they went out this morning with that electric motor. It looks like old Pops is rowing that thing in, so I bet you that motor didn't make it. Well, it could be. He looks like he's motoring in. I got a couple of retired Coasties here. This guy's retired Coastie. And then that guy over there in the end, retired Coastie. Couple of my shipmates here. It's pretty cool. They all of them have boats. Some of these guys have been coming here for 15, 16 years. They usually come in November and they leave the end of February, head back home. And then you have the little houses out there, private property. This is a Marine Corps Air Station recreation area, this little area that I'm in. It's pretty cool. Lucy and Bill. There's not a not a thing on the old fishing pole. Heading back to the end of the trail.
Buzz. Uh, it's the third day down here at Martinez Lake. I'm getting ready to pack it up. We're heading up to, uh, I don't know, toward Yuma, maybe Portside or Parker. We uh, had a great time down here. This is one of the best sites you can uh, have when you're boondocking. We're not boondocking, but hanging out. We've got the, all the chairs up. Poles are tied down. Everything's up, ship shape, ready for underway. A little boater out here. Pretty cool little fishing guys out there fishing. They got a bunch of boats around here. It's a little windy right now, so hopefully you guys aren't hearing the wind. Had a good time here. Had a big New Year's Eve bonfire last night that me and we had missed. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and get the old uh, Hornet underway. Just wanted to come out and reflect a little bit out here in this beautiful lake. I'll be back. Can't beat it. Right. So I'm gonna snap this uh, Hornet, get it cooking. Way, just warming it up right now, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run up the road in this place that has showers because I don't have to worry about wiping it down and water using the water. But there's a the site, you can't beat it right at the end of the lake behind us. It's like we're leaving the road. See the mirror there? Good shot of it right there is a great shot with the mirror. That's how yeah, it is. It's got to be a little tight here. Oh, you don't hit no bushes. And you don't hit the side of that house. And you come out here as wide as you can so you don't hit those trees on the right. And I should be okay. spots on that side and a couple of spots over here the sky's a retired coasty a bunch of spots on the left there with some cabins and there's all the moon dock docks no boats the guy was saying that uh Minko raised their prices on these slips from 15 bucks a night to 30 something dollars a night so these uh Guys that have been here for 15, 20 years every year usually come around no, November and leave end of February. And uh, like one of this, like this guy right here, Bill and and uh, Lucy, they're not. He says this might be their last year here because they raised the prices on them. And these are senior citizens, you know. It's not easy to uh, uh, not easy to afford. You know, when you have a longer stay kind of thing, you know. So we're going to park right about here. And we're going to go in and take some showers in the shower right there. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, 10 East, heading towards Ehrenberg. Went by courtside, hung out, had lunch. Check out the tents. And we're heading down to Herrenberg and some free uh, boondocking down on the Colorado River. It's only about 15 minutes outside of uh, Quartzsite. So, I'll let you guys know exit one off the highway, and then you just loop around and head towards the river. I'll get there closer, I'll update you guys. Heading down towards San Clemente, Dana Point. You know you're in California, the liberal state, when you have a sign that says stop the spread, add California notify to your phone. Terrible. Starboard bow. Happy New Year. Down here at the home base. Just got back. Got the Hornet parked up there. Unloading it a little bit. Had a good time up there in the southwest. 
went pretty much all over the place same stuff some of the stuff I didn't tape because you've seen it in past videos some of the stuff I have kind of all over the place but uh wanted to get some kind of information up there for you guys to my next video it's pretty much everywhere so I want to thank you for subscribing liking comment and don't forget to ring that bell and share and comment on anything uh you think that I can improve on you want to see and then I'll update you guys so again thanks uh, for watching and happy new year 2021 guys it can't be any worse